my name is Lindsay, and we know for sure that we will be getting a new Glitter Frost set, which I am so excited for. And this set is confirmed. It shows right here in the shop, a new set coming December 15th. So it is officially confirmed we will be getting a new set. And I have a feeling this set could be expensive. So today, I thought I'll give you some tips on how to farm diamonds fast for the new set that's coming out. So the first thing I feel like you should do is spin the wheel if you are able to because the wheel is now in the realm that you load into Royal High. So it is just right here and you might get diamonds spinning the wheel. So let's see what we get. Landed on an accessory but we already own the item so we got 300 diamonds instead. And that was a fast 300 diamonds. You should also do your needs as you can see all of my needs are on zero percent so i need to eat i need to shower and i need to sleep now i do recommend eating and showering at the same time because it is doing two needs at once so it does make things go by a lot faster i'm not going to buy any food from the vending machines because i already have a lot of snacks in my backpack that i need to use up Okay, so I'm in the shower and now I'm going to eat some of my food. I'm pretty sure some of them are glitch, so some of them I may need to throw away, which we can do because we now have a trash can in our backpack, so that is very useful. Okay, so everything is now at 100%, so I am just going to leave and we should get XP for our hygiene and our hunger. And this should also level us up, so we did level up, that means we got diamonds for leveling up. I do feel like with the current version of Royal High ever since Campus 3 has come out, level up diamond farming in my opinion is the best way to get diamonds. And so now we're gonna do our third need which is sleeping. So we finished sleeping, we probably won't level up this time but we should be really close to leveling up again. So let's go ahead and see where this takes us. So it did take us to 54% full. And then since you're in your dorm sleep Sleeping, or if you can't load into dorms because it's too laggy for you, you can go to your apartment. There are other realms you can sleep in, but I do recommend your apartment, especially if you still need to do your daily login because your daily login does give you some diamonds. I think I'm on day one, so hopefully you guys are doing better than I am when it comes to the daily login reward. So I am on a day one, so I'm only going to get 100 diamonds, but once I reach day six, I'll be getting a thousand diamonds. Then once I reach day seven, I'll be getting 1,300 diamonds. So do your daily login. It can give you a lot of diamonds. I'm just really bad at remembering to do it. So now I'm going to switch over to a public server because I do feel like public servers are the best for leveling up because there are quests in Campus 3 that you may need another person for. So for example, you dropped your diary, you'll need another person to do that quest. I only recommend diamond farming in a private server if you are diamond farming in Royal High 1 or Royal High 2 because you have a higher chance of passing the classes. If you're in a private server by yourself, you do a lot less work to pass the classes. But if you're wanting to do quests in Royal High 3 to diamond farm, I recommend doing it in a public server. And if you want to change up your routine and add Sunset Island into your diamond farming routine because you are bored of doing classes in Royal High 1 and Royal High 2 and quests in Royal High 3, then of course, you have to be in a public server for Sunset Island as well. But right now, I do feel like Royal High 3 is the best place to diamond farm because of the quest level you up pretty fast. So my level up is 54% full. So let's go ahead and do some quests and count them to see how long it takes to fill it up the rest of the way. So I do have two quests I can do in the realm I'm in. I got Sparkly Treasure and Fountain for Drinking. So we got Fountain for Drinking done. And and right here we can do a sparkly treasure and I just got lucky and got hair tangled so I can also stay where I'm at and do this quest so we are now on our third quest and we are 73% full and looks like we need to do one more quest in order to level up and I'm going to go study by the fountain so it's gonna take me about four quests to level up but you could always level up faster than me it really just depends on the quest you get some 
quests are faster and easier to complete and some quests gives you more exp i was doing quests that give me a little bit amount of exp so if you got quests like poppy i got her or wash your pe clothes you may level up faster than what i did and we leveled up so another way you can level up is musical chairs in the rainy day classroom if you are good at musical chairs and you feel like you can either win or get in one of the top three spots i really do recommend musical chairs because it is a fast way to level up i'm not gonna do musical chairs right now because it's been a really long time since i've done musical chairs so i feel like i won't do very good so we talked about level up farming and the realms you can level up farm in is Royal High 1 and Royal High 2. You level up farm in these realms by doing classes. I recommend doing classes in a private server. Or you can level up farm in Royal High 3 or Sunset Island, as well as Royal Archery. Royal Archery, Royal High 3, and Sunset Island you need to be in a public server for or if you have enough friends to do a round of Sunset Island and Royal Archery with friends in a private server, you can do that as well. I don't recommend Royal Archery because you do have to be really good at it in order to get a lot of XP. If you're like me and you're terrible, you're only going to get probably around 20 XP. So for me, doing Royal Archery is not a good option. But if you're good at it, it could be a good option for you. There are other ways you can get diamonds. I don't feel like this way is very effective, especially since Enchantix High is gone. And I'm pretty sure they changed up the way diamonds spawn in servers. But that is going around realms and just picking up diamonds. You can do this in Sunset Island. So right here is a diamond. I found it pretty fast. I actually found it right away. So here is another one. So for Sunset Island, all you have to do is swim around and find the diamonds. The majority of them spawn in the water, but sometimes you can find them on the beach. So let's see if we can find any on the beach. So here is one. Another realm that has diamonds that you can pick up is earth let's see if we can't find any so here is one right here and i think that might be the only one that is around the map yeah i'm not seeing any more so we are now going to switch realms and i'm gonna go to diamond beach because you can find diamonds around the beachy area in diamond beach so right here is a diamond and i did find this diamond pretty fast and you can find diamonds quickly on diamond beach because they are on the the beach part and it is a small area that you can find them so i recommend flying all around diamond beach as well as coming over here and checking the islands because diamonds do spawn on the islands as well so other realms that will have diamonds laying around that you can run and pick up is the beach house as well as battle law royal archery so during a round of archery you may see a diamond that you can run and pick up but don't make diamond farming or picking up diamonds your main focus make sure you're still saving your teammates at least and of course you can find diamonds around campus too as well you might see some during lunch or in between classes and you can pick up those diamonds too to get more diamonds from campus too so earth and campus two diamond beach the beach house battle law royal archery and sunset island as well as campus three because you do have the quest where you have to pick up a diamond are realms that will have a diamonds laying around that you can just run up and pick up to get more diamonds now again this is not the most effective way to get diamonds but i guess it could be a good change up in your routine if you get bored but if you're in a realm like campus three where you're already diamond farming in or even sunset island if you're already diamond farming in sunset island it's a good way to get more diamonds than what you would have if you did not pick up that diamond so make sure if you see a diamond you pick it up so those are some ways you can at diamond farm as well as some tips to help you get extra diamonds i hope this video has helped you and please make sure you like subscribe and turn that bell notification so you never miss when i post and i will see you in the next video bye